step, we will connect the SolarEdge Modbus meter. It enables the SolarEdge inverter to manage battery charge or discharge by measuring the electricity that is exported to the grid or consumed from the grid. The meter can be mounted either on a wall using two screws or on a DIN rail using the supplied brackets. In this example, we will mount the meter on a DIN rail inside the AC breaker cabinet. First, make room inside the cabinet and attach the two DIN rail brackets to the meter. Then, clip the meter onto the rail. When wiring the meter, there are three types of connections that need to be made. Direct AC connections, required to supply power to the meter, current transformers or CTs which clamp around each phase wire and measure the current. If your utility connection is single phase, only one CT is needed. RS-485 for communicating the measured data to the inverter. In the first step, we connect the AC wires to the right side of the meter. When connecting the phases, don't forget to fuse those. Let's continue with the CTs. Each CT clamps around one of the main power supply's phase wires. They should be installed at the grid connection point and the arrow on the CT should point toward the grid connection. Make sure to keep the CTs in the same order as the AC wires, L1 CT to L1 phase and so on. The CT wires have a certain polarity. Make sure to connect the black and white wires according to the black and white dots on the meter's label. Next up is the connection of the RS-485 bus. We recommend using a CAT5 cable. A twisted pair must be used for terminals B and A between meter and inverter. We recommend using the white and blue wires. For the G terminal, any other wire can be used. We recommend using orange. In a storage interface system, the meter and interface connect to the same inverter RS-485 terminals. In the storage inverter system, the meter connects to the RS-485 port of the connection unit at the bottom of the inverter. Now we need to configure the meter. Dip switch number 2 needs to be up, which is the on position, to assign device ID2. If a meter with a WND part number is the first or last device on the RS-485 bus, move dip switch 7 up to terminate the bus. Otherwise, use the inverter termination. In the next clip, we cover the installation of the battery, 